Welcome to a Lego carnival. My daughter recently expressed disappointment that the annual neighborhood carnival was canceled this year due to coronavirus pandemic. So we decided to build carnival themed models using the Lego We Do 2.0 core set. We built four different types of carnival rides. The first ride is a simple swing that gently rocks back and forth back and forth. It's a ride suitable for the youngest of carnival attendees. When you build it, you can adjust the speed of the motor until you get the swing to rock smoothly. Alternatively, you can use a gear train to adjust the speed. If so, do you put the bigger gear on the axle connected to the motor, which is the input axle, or on the axle connected to the swing? which is the output axle. If you're not sure, you can always test it to find out. Or check out my video where I discuss gear ratios and mechanical advantage. Please see the description below for the link. The second ride is a seesaw or teeter-totter. A seesaw is usually just a simple lever with the fulcrum in the middle. You push down on one side and the other side lifts up. For more information on levers, you can watch my video on catapults, which is also linked in the description below. In this example, the model is slightly different. The motor is connected to an axle that is rigidly fixed to the center of the seesaw. By rapidly alternating the direction that the motor spins, the seesaw tips up and down quite quickly. Here's what it looks like in action. The third ride resembles a single bench on a Ferris wheel. A worm gear is used to slow the rotational motion from the motor as it's transferred to the arms that are ultimately connected to the bench. Since the worm gear with its single tooth is connected to a 24 tooth gear, the motor needs to spin the worm gear 24 times just to make the dark bluish gray gear and ultimately the bench spin around once. I said it looks like a single bench of a Ferris wheel, but this model has a little surprise when you operate the ride, which I think makes it much more intense than a typical Ferris wheel. Just watch and enjoy. The final ride is my favorite. It uses a single motor to provide motion in two different planes. The top of the model is connected to the motor through a perpendicular gear connection. When the motor spins, so does the top of the model. At the same time, a worm gear is used to slow down the motion that's propagated from the motor to the bright green legs of the model. This causes the legs to slowly move up and down in a recirculating motion. When you combine both motions at the same time, it looks like this. Enjoy building this model or any or all of the models from the Lego Carnival. Have fun and bye bye.